This young rapper has won the hearts of many through his breakout single, Keep It Undercover, documenting young love and the struggles between conforming with your parents and following your heart. His unique perspective of this culture and his ability to incorporate both his British and Indian roots have allowed him to create hit songs like Johnny Mutt. His name says it all. Today on the show, we have Rockstar. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. I love your accent. I know I said this earlier, <laughs> but I just love it. Thank you. So you're here this year to perform for Daisy Fest. That's Is right. it your first time in Toronto? It's my first time in Toronto. I've been to Canada before. Uh, I've been to Vancouver quite a few times, but first time in Toronto. Um, we literally landed about four hours ago, so I haven't had a chance to look around properly yet. But Are you going to go sightseeing? Yeah, hopefully in the next couple of days. The weather's amazing, which yeah. always helps. It just got better, so you came at the right time. Awesome, yeah. Are you from Britain, or were you born in Britain or India? Yeah, yeah no, I was born in England. Yeah. Um, yeah, just slightly north of London. And how um, has that influenced your music? There's such a vibrant scene in, in England. Um, musically like when I first started it was a lot of influence of America um, but I think people have got their own own voice and as British um, like South Asians you would say we've got our own identity and voice as well in England it's like second third generation um, so yeah I mean it's influenced uh, heavily like there's two kind of sides like you, uh, it's East meets West so it's kind of like that that's how we were brought up Right. And that's what our music represents as well. Yeah, because I, I understand that you incorporate in, like in Johnny Man, some Indian music yeah, and yeah. the culture is very visible there. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we try and represent who we are and um, stay true to our roots as well as like kind of modernizing them as well, like showing we, we're not necessarily the same as our parents because we've got the influence of where we grew up and right. we're brought up. So The culture yeah. stays strong. Yeah. So how did you realize that this is what you wanted to do? When did your journey begin? That's such a... How long have you got? Um, it started when I was in school. I would um, I started music doing doing music when I was in school, uh, performing at talent shows, this kind of thing. Um, I was always writing songs when I was young, um, and then just from uh, from college, I would write my own songs. I'd put CDs out locally. This was a long time ago. From there, that kind of built up. I put out about four or five mixtapes locally, um, just as an independent artist. And then when I finished university. Um, myself and my producer Sunny, we put out a record called Keep It Undercover. This was in like 2005, and that kind of was very successful to us, uh, for us, at that time. And it catapulted us into a position where a lot of people were paying attention to what we were doing musically. And since then, it's just it's just carried on going. And then we've had little dips, and then 2011 was when we released, released Johnnyman, and then things kind of picked up again. And since then, it's just been uh, slowly, slowly like building, like up, up. Right, so speaking about Johnny Man, you yeah. wrote that song? That's right. What inspired you to write that song? Uh, it's based on a true story. I think that's what you wanted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's based on a true story. That was written quite a long time ago. It was written two or three years before we released it. And we just knew that it was a great record and we just needed the right time uh, to release it so we could put out the right video for it, all that kind of stuff. So we held, held back and then when we released it, it was the perfect time. But yeah, that was based on the situation I was going through at the time. Yeah, so do you have a Johnny Man now? Uh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. Is she the biggest support in your life? Yeah, yeah, definitely. She's here as well in Toronto and um, yeah, she's a very, very big supporter. We all heard that. <laughs> so speaking about your song, Keeping It Undercover, yep. that documented young love and the struggles of having to conform with your parents and following your heart. Mm. What uh, inspired you to write that song? That was a situation that a lot of us, I think, have to go through even now. Definitely, yeah. Um, a lot of my friends went through that situation. Uh, there were parts of it that I would kind of went through as well but um, I mean mostly like, I was quite lucky because my parents were quite supportive in what I did but a lot of people kind of went through that situation and I saw it in a lot of my peers and that just inspired me to write. It was based on a, a, a record by Common called I Used to Love Her and um, he was talking about hip hop and how hip hop uh, he personified hip hop as a woman and what she'd been through and stuff and I just wanted to take, because I'm such a big common fan, I wanted to take that concept and relay it into what I'd been through and what people like me and how we'd grown up and our experience and it connected with so many people worldwide I was getting emails from people saying I wish I could have gone into music yeah. and I couldn't but you know good luck to you and your career because you're representing us now so Definitely, yeah, yeah it was I an think, amazing experience. I think you voiced a lot of people in that song mm. so that's great what advice do you have to give to people who are going through the same situation it's difficult for me to give advice because everyone's situation is different um, you have to kind of follow 
what you think is your path, I think, it's very difficult because especially when you've got a, a clash between what you want to do and what you know your culture is or what your parents want you to do, it's very, very difficult. Um, so yeah, it's difficult for, for anyone going through that. Um, it all depends on the situation, but I mean, following your passion and your heart, I think that's always utmost priority. That's what, that's what I do in my own life. Right. Raxter's new song, Ego, is out on YouTube, on iTunes, and his new song, Got Me Singing, will be yeah. out soon, so make sure to keep posted, guys, and thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I call you. That's what you call me too. So would you be my...